I'm back to show you a really quick um, order I placed with the Dirty Goat a few weeks ago. And um, the reason why I placed this order was because um, I'm really uncomfortable with wearing deodorant like Dove or Secret or whatever because of the ingredients. Um, I've done my own research and I feel that putting chemicals that close to your breast um, as a woman and right there where your lymph nodes are um, I just don't feel like it's very good. I have a history, um, I tried a one deodorant in the past, I believe it was the Secret brand and I ended up getting lumps in my armpits um, and it turned out it was like inflamed lymph nodes or like clogged lymph nodes and so that was the first, that happened a few years ago and that really had me nervous about putting things so close to my breasts and so close to my lymph nodes. And so for the longest time I'd been interested in um, natural deodorants, but I had just never really took the plunge and ordered one. So I had been hearing a lot about this company called the Dirty Goat and I know the name sounds so weird. I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, I'm never going to order from that company. I thought it was like a weird wax company. So I was reading um, some other people saying that they got their deodorants and they really love it and all that great stuff. So I went on the website and looked for myself and picked up a deodorant um, as well as a natural shampoo slash body wash. So that's what I have here. Um, I wanted to show you the packaging really quick. So it came in this box, um, whatever, that's my address. It came in this box just like this. And this is, I haven't, um, well I have pulled things out, but it was easy to put it back where it came from. So I had tissue paper like this. And then on top was this cute little bag. i just move this out of the way. And it has her card. Um, it wasn't all the way down there, but it kind of fell down there. But I love the bag. I love that she folded it over and used this adorable tiny paper clip. I mean, come on. That is too cute. Okay. So, let me pull the card out. This is her little card. I think this is so cute. It's small, so it's to me it's just really unique. Come on, phone. There we go. The Dirty Goat. Handcrafted bath and beauty goods. And then on the back is her website. TheDirtyGoatSoapCo.com so I thought that was really awesome. The first, well the only sample, I'm sorry, the only sample she sent me um, was, here it is, it says, I don't know if you can read that, it says detox face mask. There it is. And I had wrote in the comments if she possibly had face um, facial care products that I could sample. And so I thought that was really kind of her to send me this. Um, I cannot wait to try this. I've actually been really interested in detox um, face masks. So um, I think that's probably enough for maybe two uses, maybe even three, I'm not sure. But um, I'm probably going to use this tonight. So thank you if you're watching this. Um, honestly, I don't even know the owner's name. Um, I wonder if it's on my box. No. The name is not on my box. I'm sorry, I don't know the owner's name. Um, but if you're watching this, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Right, let me just move this out of the way here. So, after I got past the samples, this is what I saw. Now I just want to go ahead and I'm going to pull them out and then I just want to show you how she packaged this, how adorable this is. She put this really cute, um, I call these worms, but it looks like, kind of like hay. So I just think that really goes with her company. It goes with the theme for the, you know, fall. She's got the the orange tissue paper as well as this it perfectly matches the pumpkins on the bag. Just really great packaging. So I appreciate little touches like that. I think she did an awesome job. And then, come on, the paper clip. I just can't get over that. Okay. So the star of the show here, this is her natural probiotic deodorant. The ingredients read cocoa butter, shea butter, arrowroot powder, coconut oil, emulsifying wax, diatomaceous earth, I think, zinc oxide, and essential oils. And the scent came in vetiver. There was another scent she had, I can't remember what it is now, but the other scent is the one that I really wanted, but it was sold out, so I chose to go with this one. 
So this deodorant is two and a half ounces. And then what you do is you just twist it up to use it. And I'm not going to twist it very far. But, um, see, and then you would just swipe that on your armpit. I hate that the lighting is really bad for you guys, but it's, um, you can kind of see the shine from it. And this actually smells really good. It smells nice and clean. It's not strong. The scent is not strong at all. But it's really nice. I really like it. I can't wait to use it. I think even my husband would like this, but I think he's going to stick with his deodorants. I just want to see if you can see how that shimmers there a little bit better. So, I'm very, very excited to use this. And I will report back um, after a while and just give you guys an update. Oh, I didn't even see this. The Dirty Goat. It says, made in Burlington, Iowa. So that's cute. So that's the deodorant. And then this is how the shampoo and body wash came packaged in this bag, which I appreciate in case something happened in transit and it spilled. I, you know, one thing I noticed too, she didn't have to include a pump. She honestly could just keep it as this. Oop, did you guys see that? Kind of squirt out my hand a little bit but all she had to do was leave it like this but she didn't she included the pump so it gives you the option to either use it this way or use it with the pump and i really appreciate that it says shake well before each use which is great to let people know so this is the love and honey shampoo and body wash the ingredients read water decil glucoside laurel betaine locally sourced honey honey quat Xanthan gum, argan oil, aloe barbadensis, which is just aloe vera, leaf juice pow powder, I think it's supposed to say powder, citric acid, let's see, phenoxyethanol, benzoic acid, dehyd dehydroacetic acid, fragrance, paraben, and phthalate free. The shampoo body wash base is certified 74.4% so say, okay, 74.47% organic ingredients by the Soil Association. So it may, you know, there's an ethanol in there, um, at least it's paraben free. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at makeup ingredients, stuff that I wear on my face every day, and it's got paraben, paraben, paraben. And it's like, wow, you know, I didn't even know. It's, it's a lot harder to get away from things like that if you wear makeup. Um, but at least when I wash my body or I wash my hair, I don't have to have it soaking into all of my pores, you know. I bought this with the intent of using it as a shampoo. So I'm probably not going to use it as a body wash. But um, I have issues with my hair. My hair is actually falling out right now, guys. I don't know what's going on. I thought I just had dandruff. And I was using the head and shoulders. I've been using it for over a month and it's just not working. So I've been doing some research online and... Um, there's different things that it could be, so I'm going to see my doctor and see if I can um, get a referral to a dermatologist. I might need some sort of special shampoo. I just, I don't know what's going on my hair. My Sometimes my scalp hurts really bad. Like, it aches. Like, I can't even put my finger on it. Um, it hurts so bad. And then sometimes it's really itchy, and my hair is just falling out in clumps. I used to have the thickest hair ever. And my hair is actually pretty thin these days. And so I'm honestly scared I'm going to lose all of my hair. I know that's crazy. but um, So this is one thing. I really wanted to use a more natural product in my hair. I also have a special tea um, off the top of my head. I forget what it is. I think it's black root or black arrow root. Something like that. And it's supposed to be good for several things. But one thing that it's good for is you brew the tea and you put it in your hair. You use it as a rinse. So I'm going to start using that as well and see if that helps with at least some hair growth, regrowth, or stopping whatever's causing my hair from falling out. I just, I really have no idea. So, I'm really hoping between rinsing with the tea and using the shampoo that my hair can be a little bit better. And I'm also really excited to use this deodorant. So, I will report back to you guys and let you know what I think of her products. I'm really excited to try this face mask as well. I've only heard great things about her company, so I'm very, very excited. And then I have to include the little clip. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> it's too cute. There we go. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I think the next video I'm gonna do is my what have I had? What have I been melting? Um, I have it. God, it's been like a month. So some of the scents I won't even remember. But there's been a lot of days in this month that I haven't melted anything at all. So um, there's really not as much as you think there is for me to go through. But um, I will have that up soon. And you know what? I just realized we didn't smell the shampoo. So let me do that real quick. Thank you for sticking around if you did. <laughs> All right. So this smells very natural. Um, I get a tiny hint of a honey. There's a light sweetness to this, but it's very, very natural. It almost reminds me of baby shampoo. It's similar to that. But there's also a note in here that's just more natural than baby shampoo. It's not the best smelling shampoo, I'll, I'll be honest with you, but I'm not looking for best smelling. I'm looking for something to really help my hair, you know? So, we'll see how that works. So I'll have an update maybe in a couple weeks or a month or something to let you guys know what I think of the Dirty Goats products that I've tried so far. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.